Yeah, it was, it was certainly a, uh, um, some pretty shocking language, but what I wasn't surprised by was, you know, the, the response of the American public who said, you know, this is really not what we want our debate to be, how we want to conduct our political conversation. And I was not surprised at, at President Obama's leadership on that and saying, you know, we engage in a civil political conversation and we don't attack people in this type of ad hominem way, especially uh, a citizen who comes forward to, to talk about their concerns. But I was really shocked actually at Mr. Romney's response and, and really disappointed because his response was simply to say that those weren't the words he would have chosen. And you know, I, I don't really care if Mr. Romney stands up for me personally. I am a strong woman and I can handle it. But it really demonstrated to me that he either can't or has chosen not to stand up to extreme voices in his party. And that troubles me because that's not the kind of leadership I want to see from a president. And I'm very concerned when he has you know, chosen Representative Ryan as his vice presidential nominee and is in lockstep with those most extreme voices. I really feel that if we give him, you know, as it were, the keys to the White House, we're letting the most extreme parts of the Republican Party uh, allow them to have control over women's bodies in this country.